Hey guys, um, Mrs. Montini here for my first video of 2021. Isn't that crazy? Sorry, I just woke up and I thought I'd get this video made in case anyone was raring to go on their homework this morning. So our first um, magazine for social studies we're going to read is number 13. I know I skipped 12, but 12 has a lot of information and I'm going to create an activity for you. So I want to give myself time to do that today. So that's why we're doing 13 first and then we'll do 12 tomorrow, okay? So if you don't have 13, make sure you have 13. The one that says culture, okay? So you're gonna read about culture today and culture is very interesting because it differs all over the world depending on where you live and um, all the different things you do as a family and as traditions that your ancestors may have done. And we talked about this a little bit when we read Jalapeno Bagels um, before we left school for Christmas break. And remember, so your culture is based on where your family's ancestry is from. Like some of you I know are Hispanic or Italian, or um, a lot of you were, some of you are Greek, some of you are Lebanese. There was a lot of Polish culture too, or Irish. So, um, a lot of you might do different traditions, like some traditions haven't been carried on a lot because it was so long ago that our ancestors came from another country. But a lot of you, a way that you do celebrate your culture is by the foods you eat. We talked about how a lot of us have corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day, or a lot of us who are Italian eat a lot of pizza or pasta. Maybe if you are from Mexico, your grandma or mom might make fresh tamales and other Hispanic foods. Um, I know um, desserts too are a huge thing in a lot of different cultures. So it just depends on where it's, where you're from, where your family's from and what you do. And some of you, if you don't have a culture that you necessarily follow, maybe you just have an American culture, which is fine too, because a lot of us do that too, right? Um, hamburgers and um, hot dogs and having picnics and going to baseball games and things like that that's very American. Maybe you celebrate your Catholic culture and you go to mass on um, the very important holidays and church days that are important. Um, maybe you went to midnight, midnight mass or late mass on Christmas this year, Christmas Eve. So maybe you celebrate the saints days, things like that. So, and you do your sacraments. That's following your Catholic culture as well. So um, you can see there's a lot of pictures on here that show different various cultures. It looks like we have kind of a Hispanic culture here. I can tell by the beautiful dress, the way her hair is, how, um, you know, in the background, I see some singers, I see hats. Um, this is probably Native American because it's a dream catcher and that's a craft that they make because of what they believe in. Um, here is probably an Indian or Hindu type temple, I'm gonna guess. Here we have a pyramid. And then this girl is just looking at her beautiful robes and headdress she's wearing. So these are all things based on, they would do and places people would live based on their culture. So cultural characteristics, it says there are many different characteristics of culture, architecture, fine arts, literature, music and language are part of culture. Religion, clothing, and food are also part of culture, just like I talked about a little bit ago. Culture is how a group of people act and what they believe. <gasps> Ooh, look at our main idea is our last sentence this time. So I'm going to underline that because it's super important. You're going to need that later because it's the definition of culture. Okay, so remember that. When we open up, I'm not going to read all of this to you, but I'm going to go over what different things culture entails, and I would like you to read it. Maybe read it with mom or dad or a sibling, and you can discuss some of these things, okay? So culture, there's basic needs in culture, so how people meet their basic needs, what they do to get their basic needs is part of a lot of people's cultures. Culture and environment, so how your environment affects your culture, okay? Um, like look at the environments people live in affect the way people dress. Cause obviously a person who lives in Mexico has, um, a warmer, hot environment. And so they're not going to wear like 
parkas and snow pants and snow boots, right? But people that live northern Canada or Alaska are going to wear those things more often, aren't they? Because it's colder there. And then we have celebrations. Oh, look at that beautiful picture. Um, one of the ways people demonstrate their culture is through their celebrations. So whether it be certain holidays or parades or big celebrations they have, it's, you know, like in America, a good USA American culture we celebrate is the 4th of July, a big celebration we have, right? We have fireworks, you might have picnics, maybe you go up north, maybe you get together with your neighborhood, whatever. There are big celebrations for the United States. That's just a United States holiday, 4th of July. Other countries don't have those because that's when we celebrate our independence, okay? All right, language, that's definitely another big thing with culture because we know there are so many different languages in the world. And I know some of you have family members that speak other languages. Um, when my father-in-law was alive, he was from Italy, born and raised in Italy. And he and his friends would or family would speak Italian. And oh my gosh, they talk so fast that I was like, I, holy cow, I have no clue what you're saying. So it was so interesting to listen to them speak Italian. Um, and then arts and folk tales. So um, we talked in um, reading about different ways stories are passed down from generation to generation with folk tales or legends, um, fables even. So that would be a big thing um, that families use in their ancestries, passing down tales or stories from generation to generation. And obviously the art they do, whether it's painting or whether it's making those dream catchers, maybe it's sewing something or knitting something and Pickles wants to say hi. <laughs> so those would be different ways that people celebrate their culture and is with their art. And then on the back, Cultural unity, culture helps bring people together. It helps us understand another person's point of view because we know as God's people, we should all get along and respect if other people are different than us, right? And I know a lot of people in the world don't do that. It's very hard for some people, but that's what God wants us to do, right? So we have unity. We come together and we try to understand the way people believe and how they feel. And we hope that they do the same for us. And then beliefs that ties in with the culture of unity. A lot of people have different beliefs. A religion is a huge part of that or spirituality. A lot of Native American groups believed in spirituality and spirits and nature. And then, of course, we know that there's so many different religions in the world. You have Catholic and Methodist and Lutheran and Baptist, all your Christian religions. And then you have religions that are based in India, like Buddhism or Hinduism, things like that, that a lot of people believe in other things. Most of them believe in God or some sort of God, but just the way they feel about him is different. Okay. So that would be where our beliefs come in. So when you get to the activity, it says fill in as many of the boxes as possible with words or pictures that help you remember what culture is. And I definitely want you to fill in every box. I think you guys can do this. It's super easy. Even if you go by each box of words we had, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different areas we read about. So that gets you to here. And then you could draw some pictures or maybe you could write words. Um, like, let's see. There's nothing here that says food. You could talk about foods, right? Um, you could even do this one as two words, okay? So um, you can even do arts and folk tales as two different bubbles. So I think you can easily do that, okay? So I want all these filled in with words and pictures, okay? Or you can do all words if that's easy. I don't want all pictures though. I want some, I want mostly words, okay? But you can do some pictures. So now, first bonus um, of the year for an extra sticker in your sticker chart when we come to school, I want you to write up here Happy New Year and I'll give you an extra sticker for that. Make sure you have your name too, okay? All right, I'll see you guys later in Zoom. Bye.